Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning. Always a pleasure to welcome Allie Bussey from Visit Canton. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. We're getting into a very busy season. I know. Your seasons are always busy, but... For some reason, all the holidays bring just that more going on to our community. And I just want to sit it down with does. you and find out what it all It does. It's such happening. a fun time of year, isn't it? it? I love it. I love it. Every single year, there's something more, something new, or a new little twist on an old favorite. So right. let's just get started. What is happening? Well, you know what? It's going to be the last weekend for that fall fun. And now that sweater weather is officially upon us, I think everyone's kind of getting in the spirit to mm-hmm. go pumpkin picking and hay rides and all of that good stuff. So really, this is going to be that last, this coming weekend will be that last weekend to kind of take advantage. You know, we're so lucky we have Mays Valley, who has their great fall festival. Mm -hmm. Kingsway Pumpkin Farm, which is also in Hartville. That one I really love for really little kids. It's really much more um, appropriate. It's a little smaller, so it's a little bit more walkable for those that have young families. Nice. Uh, Nickajack Farms. Always fun. It's so fun out on the west side of the county. They have great stuff all year round, but their fall festival is really something special. And then, of course, there's just always so many other little things going on and about. And I'm sure I'm forgetting someplace. It'll it'll probably come back to me in a few minutes. But there's but so I'm sure everybody can things. find everything at visitcanton.com. Visitcanton.com. Come. And we actually even have, when you go to the homepage, the very first thing that's going to come up is called Autumn in Ohio. So it's Perfect. all of the great you know fall festivals. And, well, and I would say, things. Allie, wouldn't you also recommend that people plan on spending a little bit of time when they go to these places? Because where we thought we were going to Nickajack Farms to pick a pumpkin... There's so much to do. So much to do. It, it re- you really can easily spend a half a day there, especially uh, if you're easily. taking you know your kids or your grandkids with you. There are hay rides you can do. Um, my favorite thing as an adult, I know this is crazy, is it's called the corn box. I was just going to say that. Really? We spent forever in there. It feels so good. It's <laughs> yes. just like a giant sandbox yes. filled with dried field corn, which <laughs> sounds super weird, but it's really fun. Yes. And you can you can back me up and tell people that whether you are five or 85, as long as you can get in and out of there, it's tons of fun. It's so much fun. And just trying to walk in it is funny. Trying to run in it is fun. The kids were lying down, making snow angels yes. and everything yes. else, you know, and then they, the little ones were kind of trying to bury each other. It's just a blast in there. It's so so yeah. it very much is. And my daughter, who is 14, you know, she's all teenager and nothing's ever fun anymore. She turns back into a child when we go there and, you know, there's slides down into the, yes. it's just a ton of fun. So yes. yeah, it really take a half a day. You can even, most of them have concessions where you can, you know, have a little meal. And by the time you go out on the hay wagon to like pick your pumpkin, you really have, you know, three, four hours in, involved and it's a perfect way to spend the day. It's a blast. So much fun. Okay. Well, Absolutely. that is all just coming to a close that next is, week. That is coming to a close. So and you know don't what? dilly-dally. Don't dilly-dally. And another thing, if you have small kids, is the McKinley Museum every year Mm. does an awesome, it's called the Booseum, and that's October 26th. It's only $5, and you can go throughout the museum. It's not scary at all. It's good. good, wholesome family fun. Mm -hmm. And what a great place, especially if the weather's maybe not so nice. This is a great way to kind of get out and experience Stark County with those little ones and kind of learn something while you're having fun because they have all their exhibits open and they're doing science shows and all sorts of other fun stuff too. So It's always a fun way to spend a day. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know one of the other outdoor things I forgot about, Beach Creek Botanical Gardens. They're doing all sorts of fun fall activities, including their spooky science, which is really actually not spooky at all. Right. But it's just a fun... Aimed for little kids. Aimed for little kids. They just call it that. They do. And if you haven't been there, they have done the most neat, the neatest outdoor playground. It's called the Nature Playground. It is spectacular. Right here in Alliance, Ohio. So... There's a lot of great days of weather left. So, you know, get outside and get some fresh air and enjoy the beautiful fall foliage. That's right. What about the butterflies during this time of year? Are they still around or do they go to sleep? They they go to sleep. Okay. (laughs) But there's so much other things there to keep you busy. And they have some sensory gardens and all sorts of stuff. Beach Creek is one of my favorites because they do stuff all year round. In the winter months, when you have me back again in the winter, we'll talk about the winter activities they do. Okay. All right. That's a deal. Because that is a wonderful place. 
place. And the the new playground was something kind of new that was just being built the last time I was there. So it's time to go back. It's time to go back. And Yay. really, I was super duper impressed. It's really very cool. It's really a great place. What then, else have you got? Well, you know what? It's interesting because as soon as you know October 31st passes, it's instantly we go to Christmas. No, I know. <laughs> but there's we Thanksgiving. Have, we've we've in forgotten between. everything in between. <laughs> I know it does. It's so crazy in the stores. <laughs> it really is. But let's celebrate Thanksgiving. Right, right. Well, we're not going to talk about that for the minute because oh, okay, all right, let's it, get to as Christmas soon as, as soon as that's over. <laughs> it's going to be start all of the really great um, open houses and special Christmas markets. Okay, and you're going to have you know Chris Kindle Mart, which will be at the beginning of November. You can check out those dates on visitcanton.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gervasi's Marketplace has a beautiful holiday um, gala of shopping on November 9th and 10th. Um, Hartville Marketplace and Hartville Collectibles and Hartville Hardware, they really start putting out all of their mm. holiday things, too. So it's really st- it's getting in that mindset of <laughs> shop, shop, shop. Okay. Well, kind of in that mindset. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm always in that mindset. It doesn't really need to be holiday related. I don't need much of a push. <laughs> yeah, me But either. it's extra fun. Extra fun. Everyone's yes. decorated for Christmas. What about everybody. all the Polar Express? Is Alley, is it too late to get signed up for any of them? Those seem to sign, they just sell out so quickly. You know what? I can't speak to that, okay. but I would recommend that you go to either the Akron Summit Convention of Visitors Bureau's website mm-hmm. and the, or the Tuscarawas County because actually okay. we don't have a train that runs through Stark County. I know, which it's huh, a, such a that's shame. True. So the Denison Depot does have the Polar Express just yes. to the south of us, that's and a nice I don't. One. And I, and then the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad just to the north of us, they mm-hmm. also have one. But I do know the tickets are you know very they, hard to they come fly. by. They fly out the door. Yeah, but hey. It's worth a shot. You yes. know, check it out. In the meantime, if you don't make it onto one of the trains, you got all this stuff Oh, there to are do. so many great things. And remember, as soon as it freezes here, the ice skating rink will go up in oh, downtown Canton. that's right. Are you ready to talk about this early to talk about um, Light Up Downtown? You know what? We can talk about Light Up Downtown. It's going to be, you know what? I didn't write the date down. It's with always me. the Visit first Canton. Thursday it's in the first December. Thursday, so I would have to have a calendar mm-hmm. in front of me. Yeah. But then you have, you know, the first Friday in December, right. which is always a lot of fun as well. And then, as I said, now that the cooler months are upon us, you'll have the ice skating rink in downtown Canton, which is free. You'll have Center Ice, which a lot of people kind of forget about Center Ice. Right. And they're open, you know, year round. And people just seem to be more in the mood to do ice skating in the fall and winter months. So, you know, hey, if the weather is not very nice, you can still do ice skating. They have great open skate hours. There, and have so. a roof over your head. A roof and a concession nice. stands. And yes. it's, you know, take a break out of the ice rink and in a nice warm lobby. <laughs> Where is the downtown ice skating rink now it's right next to the courthouse still right so right next to arcade cone in between arcade coney mm-hmm. and the courthouse so you can access it off of tusk street and does there have to be like a certain temperature for us to be able to enjoy that yes yeah, so it has to be cool enough that the ice can stay frozen mm-hmm. so it's kind of at the mercy of the weather right about when that season hits so hopefully you'll start seeing that be ready closer to thanksgiving i would i would presume unless we would happen to have a cold snap always so much fun and especially if during if it gets cold enough when light up downtown happens, then you have the really good ice skaters that know what they're doing out there, and that's always very it's cool. It's so neat, and I always love light up downtown. Can- and you know, uh, Maslin has a great light up, and they do mm-hmm. a really nice um, down at Duncan Plaza in downtown. They have a really nice um, Santa's cottage where Santa is, and theirs is actually a little bit earlier. Theirs is in actually in November. It's in the in mid November wow. before Thanksgiving, actually. So well, as a little girl, that's where we used to always go to see him. Really? Yeah, he was. I, I can remember being very starstruck because he was the most famous person I had ever met. Oh, at that's At that point, wonderful. it was just so exciting to stand in line. So it's fun to take my granddaughter now and it's do the perfect. same thing. It's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. And you know, the Maslin Museum is getting ready to reopen with the Paul Brown Museum. So mm. really make a trip of it. And remember, the Maslin Museum is always a free attraction. So That's amazing. It's amazing for families. It's one of my favorites. A pretty place to visit at Christmas time in Maslin is the Women's Club. You want to talk about that? Sure. So the Women's Club is awesome. And 
you can they have several different open houses during that time if you could find i will get the date and I'll share that with you at another mm-hmm. time but they mm-hmm. do the candlelight walk which is mm-hmm. all of fourth street where you walk by candlelight and you can see all of the beautiful old mansions all lit up and you take the processional all the way down and it dead ends right into St. Mary's Church, which is a breathtaking Catholic church. If you've never been there, it is just stunning and they always have carolers. It's just a really neat event. Oh, that's neat. It's one of my favorite and it's that's usually at the beginning of December. So I didn't bring my dates that far ahead. I can't. <laughs> well, I, I can't know think that far ahead. But <laughs> I can. Doing... But visitcan.com has yes, all those. Dates. That's got it all there. It yes. does. It sure does. Your position there. You know, you are the head honcho. Uh, <laughs> you sometimes are, no, you are yes. what at Visit Canton? I'm the president and CEO. How cool is that to say? It is. It's a. It's a lot of fun. So yeah. you know, it's interesting though because I've spent you know my career so much of my career at Visit Canton that. I spent a lot of my time in the marketing and sales world. So I got to go to all of these events yes. and you know experience them all. So now I'm a little bit on the other side where I miss seeing a lot of these things. But I don't have as much time as I used to, mm-hmm. but I still have such a soft spot in my heart. And my team now gets to go out and experience a lot of those There things. are worse jobs than having to go to all these fun events. There are. There are worse jobs. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, we've been so blessed because yeah. it really is our job to showcase all the most beautiful parts of our community and you know that's really what our role is and sometimes a lot of times we have blinders on for the folks that live here because of course every community has challenges but for us we get to kind of shine a light on what's good and what's happy and what other people how other people view our community because Mm -hmm. so many people come here and they're like we had no idea how many great things that are here. Obviously, they know about the Hall of Fame. Sure. But then they learn about the National First Ladies Library. Exactly. Or, you know, the Troll Hole Museum, which now <laughs> has just been recertified as the Guinness Book of World Records collection of trolls. <laughs> I think it's the funniest. It's so f- That and the cats are just the funniest museums that we have. It, we have a museum, I think, for just about everything. I, you're, I think you are right. <laughs> and it's great. We love it. Do you find, because that is your job to bring people from other places, to here, do these kinds of things attract people from all over? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, cool. So we keep a track every quarter of all the attendance at all the major attractions, and they give us the percentage of people that have come from outside of Stark County. And it's interesting because some of the museums that we think of are kind of small town like they don't we don't realize what draw they have nationally and internationally Hmm. national first ladies library is a great example over 88 percent of their attendants are people who aren't from stark county wow it's kind of like a little kept secret here a lot of people here go what Mm -hmm. there's the national first ladies historic site what's that about right but here it is part of the national park service it's a fantastic establishment and 88 percent of the people that are coming here are not from our from our our county isn't that so typical though don't you hear that quite a bit that you know i've lived here all my life i've never been to the football hall of fame you know do you hear that because i hear you know people in new york say i've never been to the empire state building yes what is it about living in a place you don't take this time to treat yourself like a tourist every once in a while exactly it's totally true so the palace theater you know they they have such great riches and but only yes. about 40 percent of their uh, folks right now are from outside of Stark County. So more people locally are they've been to a concert. They've been to a recital for mm-hmm. something. So, you know, we have a nice mix there. Maps Air Museum is oh, another yes. one. That's a yes. fantastic establishment. And they have over 30,000 people coming through their doors every year now. It's a really oh, great goodness. attraction. And I would think in November, I know it's Christmas, 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 but with November and Veterans Day observance that MAPS would be doing something special. MAPS always has great events. As a matter of fact, I wrote down on October, at the end of October, they have a military show coming up, Mm. a military collector show. They have things all the time, all sorts of great special events. So So cool. So cool. And then the arts and culture, that's another one that's big. And by the, I hope that if people are listening, they head out right now because it's getting ready to end, but... Uh, the Kent Museum of Art has an amazing show right now, the Arden Riddle uh, mm-hmm. Mid-Century Modern Show. Yes. It is really cool. So anyone that's into mid-century architecture and art, don't miss it. You will really be sorry. It's a beautiful exhibit. It's interesting, isn't it, that mid-century is something that some of us just think of as, well, that's just how things looked when we were little. Right. Exactly. That that's become a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> and it's a cool thing. <laughs> it is. Mid-century modern is like very cool right now. It's very cool. 
So, yay, Canton Museum of Art. We need to take a short break. We're going to return with Allie Bussey from Visit Canton after these words. You're listening to Our Community.